The Dark End of the Universe One day I was really depressed, so I decided that it would be fine just to end it all. Even though looking back on it, that was a bad idea, because I would have fucked up a few people. And looking back on how I went about doing it, I can safely say I regret my decision thoroughly. So I decided it would be a great idea to try an OD on a gram of DPH and a gram of DXM, a combo I thought would be deadly enough to end my life. So I bought a bunch of cheap DPH gel caps and some Robocoff online and decided to give it a go. I sat in my room staring at the pills for what seemed to be at least an hour. Maybe it was less, maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Eventually, I got the courage to take two whole cases of the 50mg DPH gel pills. There were like 16 in each box. I couldn't finish them all, but I managed to down about 20 or so before I felt like I was going to throw up. 20 is approximately 1000 milligrams, and I felt as though I should have taken more at the time, but I'm 100% glad I didn't. I downed two whole bottles of Robocoff, which had 450 milligrams of DXM in them each. I threw up a bit in my mouth, but I managed to hold it down long enough for it to settle. Now, I'm a lightweight person. I only weigh 135, so this combo should have been enough to hypothetically kill me, but unfortunately, it didn't. And instead, it took me somewhere I don't think I should have ever been. I took all of this at around 10.30ish, and I believe nothing really hit me till around 11.15. At that time, I had decided just to sit back and play some Lost Planet 2, my favorite game of all time, and reminisce before my demise, which I knew would be painful given the nature of overdosing. It was around that time, 11.15, that I started to feel the come up effects of the DPH, a slight weightlessness that was very familiar to me, accompanied by a numb sensation that washed around my whole body. I was ready, but I knew I had a while before everything started really getting going. About 10 minutes after that, I began to feel the effects of the DXM, which made me feel warm and twitchy, and a bit energetic and excited. It was happening. I then stopped playing Lost Planet 2 and just sat staring at the screen for what could have been 10 minutes. The effects seemed to be hitting me a lot quicker than I thought they would, so I decided that it would be good to keep my mind occupied until everything had truly set in. It was around 11.30 that I began to get my first DPH hallucinations. I felt as if someone was whispering to me, and there felt like there was a presence near me that I couldn't explain. It was like something was watching me, not maliciously, but curiously. The walls began to shimmer and bend slightly as well, letting me know the peak of my high and eventual death was coming very quickly. I tried texting on Discord, but it seemed as if my fingers were moving too fast and too slow at the same time, and my vision seemed to lose its focus. I spent at least 20 minutes doing this before I gave up and looked at my controller. It was wiggling for some reason, but I paid no mind to it. Instead, I decided to keep playing my Xbox until I couldn't coordinate anymore. That's when the dissociative effects of the DXM began to start. I would constantly forget I was playing a video game, and I would end up thinking that I was in the game itself, which made me scared of dying, but at the same time, I couldn't move because my fingers weren't moving on the controller, I was just staring at the screen. Eventually, I managed to pull myself away from the screen to look at my Xbox and turn it off. All of a sudden, I felt like I was in it, like my soul had left my body and had somehow managed to get stuck inside of my Xbox something that threw me off for a moment before my mind snapped back to reality. I looked down at my controller, for no apparent reason other than the fact that I could, and saw that my controller was twitching and seemed to have wavy spider legs, which made me throw it and turn off my Xbox and go to my room. When I stood up, I couldn't really feel the heaviness of the DPH all too much, but I definitely couldn't walk. My legs were light and uneven, and my heart seemed to beat harder when I took a step. I eventually made it to my room and sat down and tried to draw for a bit. I don't know why I wanted to, but I tried to. I had a picture that I had already started working on, so I wanted to touch it up for a bit. This went on for about 30 or so minutes, putting the time at roughly 12.15. I started hearing voices again. This time they were much stronger, but they were gibberish. I couldn't shake the feeling of being watched, so I decided to loom up from my drawing and standing in front of me was a clear figure made of what seemed to be translucent spiders. 
I freaked out and thought it was a demon, and immediately tried to take a picture of it, but it took me a while to, since I couldn't remember where the camera app was on my phone, let alone how to use it. Once I finally managed to snap a picture of the thing, I sent it to Discord. This is where my memory gets hazy. I remember trying to text and being scared of the spiders forming on my bed and being told on Discord to find a mirror, which is something I had done earlier during the beginnings of my trip. It scared me and I nearly pissed my pants. But I don't remember actually getting up. All I remember is blinking and seeing myself sitting on my bed. I wasn't in my body anymore, I was floating around, aimlessly, through my room. I remember seeing a tall dark shadowy figure staring at my body, and it was wearing a shadowy hat. The hat man had found me. I got scared and tried to reach my body, but the more I tried, the further I got from it. It was like running in reverse. Then I think I blacked out, because I woke up laying on the floor of my living room not knowing how I got there. My mind was basically gone at that point and I couldn't really think, I was just staring at the ceiling. This is where things got particularly bad. I stared at the ceiling and it began to turn dark, and it began to twist and contort, and what seemed like shadowy tendrils began to approach me. I tried to move out of the way, but I ended up staying put as the DPH effects had set in completely. I felt like I was floating, yet heavier than a skyscraper. I assume I had fallen asleep when I managed to find myself into the living room and a few hours had passed before I woke up. Why I woke up? I have no idea. I should have been dead because I could hear my heart beating in my ears as well as whispers and shouts. My name was being called from all around me and I wanted to look for who was calling my name. At this point, I was completely delirious most likely and didn't know I was tripping. I looked at the ceiling and saw a giant spider at least the size of a damn car, descending on me, and then I blacked out again because I don't know what I did about the spider. I came back to reality again, and instead of being in my house, I was in this weird room where all of my furniture was reversed and covered in what seemed to be millions of spiders and fur, and the furniture was twitching around. The room looked like it was static, and the TV was on, but the TV wasn't displaying anything. Instead, the screen would float off, revealing what seemed to be some sort of four-legged animal, before snapping back in place and doing the same thing over and over again. I recall looking around, but I don't really remember anything else about the room other than the fact that the walls were constantly shifting and breathing, as if they were alive or some sort of living machine. I also saw myself laying on the floor, staring up. This scared the hell out of me, because I looked at my body and saw that my skin was pale and there was a lot of drool coming from my mouth, as well as spiders. I could freely move around the room, so I decided to leave my body, as it made me realize that I had in fact died, or at least I thought I did. I kept pacing my room back and forth, but no matter where I walked, I always ended up in the same spot I awoke in. Eventually, I began to hear shouts and screams and what seemed to be some sort of viola playing, but it was heavily distorted and seemed far away, yet at the same time, it was almost omnipresent, as if it were the soundtrack for this decrepit world I had found myself in. The whispers and voices turned to screams until one of them said, He's here. That is the only voice I can clearly remember, and it sounded like the whisper of a deceased friend I know, well, used to know. But it scared me, it didn't seem natural, it seemed like a warning, so instinctively I looked around the room and noticed that everything was darker and more demented and there were shadow people phasing in and out of the walls and gathering around this thing that I couldn't see. Their heads were twitching really fast and the longer I stared at them, the more they seemed to be made out of insects with hundreds of legs. They all of a sudden stopped twitching and they just disappeared. I don't remember anything else from that moment except seeing a tall lurching shadow person that had six arms and orange dots for eyes. It screamed at me and told me horrible things, none of which I could decipher, but somehow I knew what it was saying anyway. It kept repeating a mantra about how the world was coming to a close for humanity and it repeated the numbers 2032. This scared me, but it wasn't a normal fear, it was a primal one. A fear that had told me that I was in the presence of something immense and powerful. A deity. A god. 
but a demonic one. After that, my memory fades. I don't remember what I did, or when I woke up, or how I ended up in my bed, but I can recall opening my eyes for a moment and seeing the sun through my room window, and seeing the hat man walk out of my room. He said, I'll see you soon, and that was it, before I closed my eyes. I don't know how much time passed between then and when I regained full consciousness, but when I was finally able to wake up and look around, I remember checking my phone and seeing that it was 2pm March 16th. I had taken the DPH and DXM on the 14th, meaning I was delirious for what seemed to be two full days. I noticed that my thoughts were nearly non-existent and every few minutes I would have uncontrollable full body muscle spasms and blackouts, to the point where I would spasm, then black out, only for it to happen again. I was terrified and managed to call my boyfriend to come to my apartment, but even that took what was probably 15 to 20 minutes to actually do as I could barely type and barely see. I couldn't speak very well either, but I think I managed to say something right, because about 10 minutes after I had made the call, my boyfriend showed up and used the spare key I had to open the door and came in. He sat with me on my bed, but I was having hallucinations and blackouts still, and I couldn't tell if he was real or not. He told me I would start talking to the air, then stop and look at him before saying, what did you say? And I don't remember any of it. I don't remember a large chunk of my trip other than the time I spent in what I can only assume was Ariel itself, or something close, or far worse than it. It's been 3 days since I took that shit and I still have vivid hallucinations as well as blackouts and spasms. My vision is bad and I have to squint to read but I can basically function somewhat normally. Apparently I threw up a lot during my trip because I was covered in bile stains and blood and threw up a lot today, most of it being bile and blood as well. I didn't eat or drink anything for nearly two days and I have discord texts that I sent that I have no memory of actually sending. My furniture has throw up on it too, so I'll have to clean my couch whenever I can actually walk and move normally. My heart felt like it has stopped at least three times, twice during the trip, and once before I took a nap earlier today and blacked out again. And there are strange markings on my wall from a marker that I have no idea where in the hell it could be, and I still see large black spiders materialize on my walls and near my legs. My boyfriend is staying with me for the remainder of the week to make sure I don't die, and to make sure I don't attempt suicide again. I'm surprised that I'm alive, honestly. The effects of both drugs are still very strong, though it's more the DPH than the DXM, even though when I look at my hand, it doesn't feel like it's mine and I have flashes of seeing myself laying on my bed with my man. I wish I could remember more of what happened, but judging from the things I do remember, I don't think I really want to.